is a beer review. El Chingon, Four Corners Brewery, Dallas, Texas. El Chingon IPA. I like this beer. Stan introduced me to this beer, and it's got a lot of. It's got like it's a pretty high level of alcohol content to it. Look, see, like six something. Where's the alcohol? Uh, it's right here somewhere. Yeah, it's like 7.8 or something. Il Chingon, you know, it has these cool looking, these are like those pull taps like this. It's like a, you can just rip it right off like a, I don't know what you call it, like a regular can. And so, yeah, I've had some of these before, so I'm going to have another one. I'm just going to like give a, re give a cool review for it. Look at that. Pops off like that. Yeah, one hand. Check that out. I like it. It's not. It's not. To have a bad aftertaste to it. Smooth. It has IPA taste, but they kind of a smooth. And shit for nine ninety nine a six pack. You know, I mean that's expensive, but it ain't Natty Lights six pack. But forties will get you fucked up, and uh, it's fucked up because it's got so much alcohol on it. It's three of them, you're like getting a little queasy. It's not like a light beer. You know, this is a heavy duty beer, but. Four Corners Brewery. I'd buy this. I don't even. I don't know where all the distribution is. This goes. And see, this is another thing I've been playing around with. Just simple, I guess, like old frames and wood. I got so much plywood, like this cheap poplar wood and siding, and just making like old marathon goat paintings. You gotta do things to make you make you feel alive. You know, as you get older. And you know, sometimes ladies, that they will remind you that you're alive or you're gonna be dead. Those are days. September. I'm turning 50 years old. <clears throat> it's 50 in like about a week from now. And uh, it's got me thinking. My whole, this whole summer has been crazy. I've been trying to go back and make paintings of all these, like the whole history of my sexual bullshit. You know, it's like humongous. It's like I had to break it down into years and uh, categories and errors and sagas and stuff. And kind of vent off these really ridiculous and st stupid situations over the over the years. So it was kind of fun, but I just, every time I get a beer buzz, I would start just like letting my mind go through this journey and remembering all these incidences, you know. I'm going to be done. I'll definitely act up because I don't know. But I, but I take one thing I am pulling off for my birthday. You know, I'm, a, I'm definitely, I have noticed lady, and uh, she said she was game for it. Uh, uh, I'm going to have one of those Monza 12s, you know, with two chicks on you and stuff. This is my goal now. And, uh, Come my birthday, somewhere in that zone, I go back to San Marcos. You can't do it here in Marathon. It's impossible. It's totally impossible. It's not good pickings here in Marathon. But, out, you know, over there in uh, San Marcos, a little different. See, one of the greatest things ever last week happened is what I call <clears throat> the, my uh, infamous line of hog, of dog humping hogs. I made three of them, threw them to eBay, and they all sold. I did a buy now, and I could not freaking believe that they sold. One at a time. It was they were enough thirty minutes and bam they sold. Here's this one. Here's that. Look at that genius one out there. That sold. And then this was the grand pit. Look at that. That sold too. Buy right it in a row. And then I actually got two other sales related to that. Cause they've seen stuff off of my Instagram. So yeah, one of the main deals here that I started realizing is that uh if nothing ever happened, if if I don't there's no ladies anymore, if it's just like this Hopefully about 10 years, this is my plan is, 10 years from now, because of AI technology and all those, new, I don't know if you've heard of real dolls, those silicon base, I mean by 10 years, 15 years from now, it'll be so advanced and so technologically, I mean I was going on eBay checking out something, and I was like, oh my god, you couldn't tell the difference, you know? so I thought it would be really cool with AI technology to maybe get like five or six, just buy them you know, slowly. And get them here in the shed, you know, and then, but, but the, cool, the cool part would be is that you can program them for characters. And, you know, after reviewing my whole flow chart of these girls over the years that I've always been, you know, good friends with, I like the characters. You got your kind of, I have my enablers, you have your whiners, you got your just outright bitchy characters. You got ones that are judging you all the time, calling you you're fat and loser. And you got all these selections of, 
of uh, personalities. You got your sexy ones who just want to flirt and tease you, and then you got your ones who are just like, let's get it on. I'm, you know. And so I thought it'd be cool, like, get a, if I could somehow know to get a soundboard with some of my girlfriends. Like, like you, you could program each of the sex bots with uh, an array of this reoccurring personalities. You know, like your the girl that wants to flirt with the girl that wants to flirty, have sex with you, but then deny you, and then you have one judging you and yelling at you. You know, and then so, well, what the good part of it would be, imagine like 65 years old, you got a whole room of these AI sex bots. You walk in here and they're all talking to each other about who you are, what you're doing, and then you're basically like trying to argue with them. And then one of them said, Come, you know, take me back to the back there and fuck the shit out of me. And you start picking them up and you're like, Okay. And then the other one said, No, if you do that, you better get permission first. And then they start arguing. She said, like, She's got emotional issues. And it's just like, it just turns into this big, humongous. The ball, but by hopefully 10 years, 15 years from now, fucking Texas better fucking make weed legal because then I'll just start smoking weed again. You know, I don't smoke weed, but at that point in the game, you might as well just go full blown schizophrenic because you know, when I start smoking weed, your mind just goes crazy, your imagination takes you start believing stuff when you're smoking weed. At least for me, that's why I can't do it because it makes I get too animated with it, you know. But imagine you're in a room with these AI sex dolls with a program with selection of. Like a ruby character, maybe, or a scruffy character, or a, or some of the other chicks that I've known over the years, and and they're all yelling and arguing with you the whole time. I mean, fuck, that would be a. And you're getting drunk. Oh my god. I mean, uh, it'll definitely keep you. So yeah, here it is. I'm working on this last set for this. Is gonna go into a bar called the Growling over in San Marcos. This is gonna be my last. I'm at my big birthday party over there. Anyone in the, in the area wants to go to a my next Saturday, 22nd, at the Growling, North LBJ, San Marcus, you're invited. Just tell them you know me from YouTube. Just don't come there and stalk and assault me or anything. You know? Just come here and hang out and bullshit. So, this is a story. I'll just briefly tell a story, and then these pangs will be rolled up and returned back here. I don't know how long they're going to... The bars going to want to keep this shit up, but we'll check this out. You can see this. This is based on a real-life story, if y'all can figure it out. It's called a sex tape. Um, this is when I met a lady at the bar. This is one of my buddies there, and this one of them, they turned her back on her. They were, they were scared of her, but I, uh, I, I liked her. She's cool. I liked her so much. She made this painting. It's a genius one about her. You know, I'm actually going back to acrylic. I don't know if I bla I've probably said this before. Instagram's one of the best ways to keep track of my bullshit now. If you want like a day-to-day -day kind of bullshit activity, <clears throat> but someone gave me all these. Um, I mean, gave me like 50 or 60 screen paint. It's like, this guy was a set designer, you know, for like theater and stuff. And he came, moved out here. And I probably gave me about $1,000 worth of canvas. I mean, it was a lot. And so, what, one thing, is, one of the positive things about him giving this to me, and I started fucking around with it, I was like, holy cow. I said, man, I've been painting with literally having the, it's like putting your, driving with your brakes on half the time. And when you're dealing with acrylic, and I use little spray bottles and sponges, you get all these crazy ass effects, you know. I'm not done with this one yet. This one's just about done, you know. But you get, you just don't care enough to want to go there and articulate stuff. You can do finger painting with it, which I think is really important because there's a lot of static that you like to do, you know. And so these three, these three guys are going to be in the bar, and I'm making a special, a little brochure with them and explaining that and those three looking hog paintings about how crude and rude is better than boastful and boring. And that's my uh, trademark at this point. I actually had some, you know, some characters actually try to say, you know, your crude shit scares people. I'm like, no good. You know, eventually with all this AI, AI technology, you could be, you know, it's just like when you get older and you see people yelling at their TV about shit. Hold on a second. That's my bathroom over there I'm trying to make. What happens is that eventually, with all the AI technology, you'll be sitting there bored and all those, those real dolls with program ex-girlfriends personalities in there. You'll be drinking natties, getting stoned a little bit, and then you'll be like, actually you'll probably cave and start acknowledging them and addressing them and yelling at you. And it's going to really be funny because the majority of the women I've dated over the years, they ain't like this. That's for damn sure. They're more like, like this, or this, or this, you know. And they're basically yelling at you. So you, you basically have to create like 
something you're used to, which is about maybe out of six real dolls, four of them don't like you and actually act actively criticizing and threatening you. With, it, with AI technology, they could have it hooked up to the internet. They could threaten to call 911 on you. They could do all kind of shit to your ass to keep you in check, you know. And the other two, one of them is the kind of passive the enabler, though. I've had an enabler girlfriend. They call those cleaner uppers, you know. And they're the ones who support you. They're the ones you like to talk to. And then there's the kind of promiscuous ones who just want to engage you and flirt with you and talk sexy talk. They're the troublemakers. And then you got the other ones that sit in judgment of you. You see, I can see this really, you know, it could actually happen in some degree. Of course, I'm broke. I can't really pull that off. But who knows? Uh, real doll technology might actually uh, change by then. As a dog returns to his own vomit, a fool repeats his folly. Mm -hmm.